So Saw X is really Saw 3. It's yeah, I think it's the third Saw movie being the 10th installment and the first Saw is the second Saw. Jigsaw is the first Saw and, jo and Saw oh, 2 X. is Saw 4. And I'm like, dude, what? what? What's going on guys? It's the What Would You Think crew and we're back for a new review of Saw X. It's me, Omid. It's me, Amory, guys. And like he said, we are back for Saw X. And even though this has a 10 in the title, believe it or not, this is actually, was it the third one? I had to watch a timeline explain yeah. for this movie. Because yeah. I was when I was watching the movie to Amory, I told him, I was like, oh, uh, John Kramer has cancer. And I was like, oh, I think in the yeah. last movie, they said he had cancer, and then when yeah. I watched the timeline, I explained, they say in the fucking first movie in 2004 he has cancer. Yeah. I'm like, so Saw X is really Saw 3. It's, yeah, I think it's the third Saw movie being the 10th installment, and the first Saw is the second Saw, Jigsaw is the first Saw, and, jo and Saw, Saw 2 X. is Saw 4. And I'm like, dude, what, what is this timeline? <laughs> yeah. But apparently they put a lot of, when I was watching and explained, they put a lot of thought into where it's placed. Yeah. So this movie I think takes place around what, like 2004, Four. 2005? Yeah, but like we said, so we just saw Saw X yesterday. Uh -huh. And just a quick synopsis of the movie. It is like we said, it takes place in the past. We follow John Kramer who is the Jigsaw killer. Mm -hmm. But we do see that he's actually more frail right now. Mm -hmm. He's uh, at a hospital and he gets a very sad diagnosis that he has stage four terminal brain, brain cancer. cancer yeah yeah and i thought this was actually very interesting for the movie when because this is actually the first saw movie that we've seen the whole <laughs> way through because i'm guessing a lot like a lot of you guys you've probably seen like highlight clips online you come for the or death like traps. exactly so you just go for the death traps but mm -hmm. i was so ex uh, happy to see that this is actually a much slower mm -hmm. horror movie because i think like that really the, works the beginning of like all the stuff with the chemo i think that was like 20 minutes of it, but for me i was like that fucking t like I that sword us. I was yeah. sucked in, like, because yeah. you know he's a fucking serial killer. But when you see that um, he's dealing dealing with cancer, he's human, going very to can human stuff. He's going to cancer support groups, and one of his friends uh, is cured of his cancer, and he asks him like, "Man, you look so much better. Like, can you tell me your story?" And the guy is like, oh, "It's a long, it's a long story." And he's like, uh, "I have time if you don't mind telling me." Like, yeah. you can see he's a man who's uh, down on. He has no hope. Yeah. And I think that's a, little, a big thing about this movie he, is that he thinks it's wrong to rob anyone of their hope, especially yeah. when they're ill. And like you said, he, he's coming to get his cancer treatment, I think, in like a place in Mexico. Yeah, so like, it's a, a very renowned doctor. She has uh, this kind of uh, unapproved FDA um, cancer treatment and mm -hmm. actually works for people. So mm -hmm. he ends up going to the facility, and we're not going to spoilers, but... Man, is this movie a wild ride. It's crazy. This, it is crazy. This movie, I think, gives you everything you're looking for in a Saw movie. Mm -hmm. And it gives you more. Mm -hmm. I think it... I don't know how many uh, victims are usually in, like, a Saw movie. Mm -hmm. Does it I can see, this one have, like, uh, I think five. Because you had the main room, and then you had the one guy beforehand. Yeah, so I think... And then six, five. if you count the beginning. Yeah, okay. So, because I was about to say, I, I thought maybe that they could have had, like, one or two more mm -hmm. kind of death traps. But... Overall, I think when you're going into this movie, you're really going to get what you paid for and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I think the death traps, um, they're all, like, I, I saw someone talking about, like, it was all very simplified, but okay. they all really worked. Yeah. Like, um, one of the one of the death traps, someone has to essentially cut off their leg Ugh. and use, like, a vacuum to extract the bone marrow yeah. from their leg, and it has to hit three ounces so they can escape the trap. And, and you always have a, t they always put a timer. They always have a timer. fucking <laughs> clock, and... Uh. This when you're seeing it, I'm like, man, this... Like, I play Mortal Kombat. I can watch gore, but there are times I was like, oh, it was winter. Like, oh, oh. Yeah. So yeah. I think that movie for sure succeeded in yeah. its, its gore. It didn't mm -hmm. seem overly gratuitous. It was, I think, spaced, like, decently well. Like, there was a story. And yeah. Other Saw movies feel like, oh, all it is just violence. Highlight like, reel of, of kills. Yeah. This doesn't feel like that, which is actually really cool. Like, yeah, I feel like you'll be waiting for the next Death Trap, but for this one... I was I was interested in the characters and kind of seeing yeah. how they were, if they were to get going to be able to get out. Yeah. But, One thing I'm curious to mm -hmm. ask you guys and also you, uh, like we said, this is our first Saw movie, and we were actually really endeared to John Kramer. So I don't know if that is like an us thing because we don't have all of that baggage of like, yo, this That's guy fair. has been a killer for like X amount of movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I mean, for this movie, we're getting out of the gate seeing like. Damn, he's, he's a frail old man who's mm -hmm. being told that 
get comfortable with lit with dying. Mm-hmm. You have a couple mm-hmm. months. And I'm like, damn. So that's why whenever I was watching this, I never truly felt like John Kramer was a villain because they even told me like he's kind of like a Robin Hood yeah, kind of character. I, I, like, I don't he's know. killing people that have wronged others. So I'm curious if. If it be, because we, this is the first time we've ever yeah. seen, is that kind of the wrong mentality that's, to have? Or? That's a, I think it's a very good point. Like, none of us have, have seen all the other Saw movies, mm-hmm. which I'm, I'm pretty happy to say. I don't think you need to watch the any of the previous ones to get this one. I think it, it yeah. works really well as standalone. For being the 10th installment, you, know, you just, you just jump in. Yeah. But I was telling everyone when I watched it, I was like, oh, I kind of had problems because I feel like they were glorifying him as almost like a hero. Like, yes, mm-hmm. he's punishing people who deserve it, but he's still killing them. So I'm like... <laughs> Well, no he does. Hero. He does say he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna give you a the chance. To, if you if you beat it in three minutes, you're good. To go. You're good to go. Yeah. I'll drop out of the hospital." Yeah. So I'm like, that just felt so dark and devious. It's so devious. Like, hey, yeah. I'm gonna help you. I'm yeah. gonna help you. Like, yeah. There's like, like one uh, death trap where it's like um, the forearms. The forearms. Where yeah. they have to like take a bomb out of their their arms, and uh, he, the character just ends up actually beating the game in so time. So he brings the first aid kit. Like. You're gonna, gonna take you to the hospital. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you're gonna be all right. Yeah, I'm like, jeez. So uh, but that's it was great. It's fun. Okay. But I was like, yeah, I, yeah. I think like, oh, they're glorifying a villain, especially like some of the shots at the end, like doors open, sun Pearly is beaming. White game. But I mean, Pearly, could also, or, yeah, no so, spoilers yeah. or anything. But, but yeah. it, it, I can see that. But I'm like, oh, they're portraying him. I think as like a hero when he's not. He's like a Punisher or like I kept telling Amory when I was watching. I was like, man, this character feels like Riddler, like yeah, a, a Riddler that. in a Matt Reeves story. If like. He wasn't oh, like a loser. Great. If he wasn't like a loser, yeah. Because I think, yeah, if he wasn't a loser, he was good. Yeah. He, he gives you kind of a clue of how to get out, and it's it's good. I yeah, like it, you know, this being the like kind of beginning of the Holly, uh, Halloween spooky season, season, spooky, spooky season, season. I thought this was a really really good time. Mm-hmm. And like, did you have any complaints with the movie? My only thing is like, I, I think this so applies to a lot of right. movies now. It's just. <laughs> Give it a little bit shorter. I agree. A little short, maybe like cut, cut out, out like minutes. 20, 10, 15, 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, I think yeah. 10, 15 minutes. You got to make it a little bit tighter, but overall I thought it was very good. Yeah, if, if the extra time was to develop all the stuff in the beginning, then I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah, I think okay a lot of, there, there will be people who don't like the slow opening. Mm-hmm. Me and you did, so I'm like, I all right, that. if it makes for a longer movie to keep that, I'm fine with yeah. it. Yeah, because... Uh, p- apparently on Rotten Tomatoes, like people are saying this is the highest now. Yeah, it's 86. This is the highest rated Saw movie. I'm like... Yeah. Damn, this is not a bad time yeah. to jump into the yeah. franchise. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'm now I'm yeah. just waiting for a possible reboot of Nightmare on Elm Street. But Hopefully. also I know uh, uh, Robert Englund he's probably he's pretty much done. So I'm like, oh, yeah. can you continue it without he can be a cameo? Him? Yeah, he be a cameo, but he's saying like, oh, he he's yeah. not gonna be Freddy anymore because he can't just do it. Like, he can't do the ja- even though the Jaguar Haley one was bad. I think uh-huh. maybe if they give him a different direction, he could be good. I, think, I thought he was good. Yeah, it's just yeah. the writing, but yeah. uh, I think, yeah, as horror, horror movies are back. Spooky season's back. It has begun. Next, I believe, is Exorcist Believer. Oh, that's, that's going to be, be a cool one. That that's one's going to be, be a cool one. So, yeah. uh, I'm going to end my, uh, I think I give this movie a, I'm going to say a B plus. I thought it was very good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm now curious to go back and watch some of the older ones. Yeah, I, I agree. I hope the other ones are as, like, Method or like kind of just critical like this one is and actually really develops the characters which I'm guessing it probably wasn't because I mean this is the highest rated but like you I'm leaning or sorry we can see I, was, I think when I was watching the explain like I think the first few ones are like super methodical and it feel it almost plays out like I think like a detective mystery okay that's that cool. it seemed like they put a lot of thought in like the timelines from what I was watching like they were able to extrapolate the times. Like based off, of oh, based off the degree, clues off and the degree, set decoration. Yeah, off a degree on on the yeah. background. I'm like, what the yeah. hell? Yeah. But um, I think probably later on it becomes more of like a, a torture torture, torture yeah. porn. Yeah, but uh, like Omid said, I really enjoyed this movie. It was super fun. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten. I yeah. thought it's a a great time if you're looking for a good horror movie. Mm-hmm. I think you're gonna get exactly what you want. Uh, great to watch it with a crowd. We watched it at. Uh, 11 o'clock, pretty much. Before we close out the video, you want to tell them why we had to watch it at 11? Uh, we watched it at 11 o'clock because, unfortunately, I was in lab. Uh, when me and Amber were coordinating buying the tickets, I like, hey, Amber, do you mind buying the tickets? He was working, so I'm like, it's fine, I got a little bit of time. I'm just doing some uh, lab stuff. So when I buy the ticket, I say, oh, 8.15. I want That's to go prime time. I buy 8.15, we have good seats, yeah. and we go uh, to the movie theater uh, yesterday, which was a Friday. Mm-hmm. We scan our tickets, and it says on the tickets of... Your event has passed, uh, but it's still printed on my ticket. I'm like, oh, that's weird. I guess we're a couple minutes late, but I think yeah. the trailers are starting, so we should yeah. be fine. Yeah. We go into the auditorium, and I see that they're playing Expendables, uh, Expendables 4. 4, 
And when I watched it, I'm like, wait, this doesn't look like a trailer. It's like the lowest stake situation. Megan yeah. Fox talking to Jane State. I'm like, yeah. this doesn't seem like a trailer. So we walk out of it. And as we check... Uh, I check the ticket uh, stub. And I'm like, wait, this is September 28th. Yeah. Today is September 29th. Yeah. So Obi accidentally bought us a ticket for the Thursday. Thank God we have A-list, though. Yeah, so we didn't lose any money for it. I agree. So we ended up having to go back on the app and uh, get the next screening, which was 1015. Yeah. Which we did get it in Dolby, which did give us the recliner. So mm-hmm. it was that, like a that was mistake. Worth it. That was worth, that was it. worth it. I don't like the seats at Americana if it's yeah. not recliner. They're really small. But um, this is actually like a very happy accident. So yeah. we ended up finishing the movie round one. And... Um, yeah, it was a great it was a time. Good experience. Yeah. It was a good experience. Watch it with a crowd. Yeah. Uh, it's good, bloody fun. Yeah. And if you guys have seen it, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know your favorite movie. And if you knew that this was a prequel, sequel, yeah. you know, let us know all in the comments because below. Because I watched it, I, was like, oh, I just thought it was... Because I, I, was I, I also remember this too. When I was watching the movie, there looks like they're pulling out like Motorola razors. I'm like, is the budget of this movie so low that they cannot get any <laughs> iPhones? And then when I watch the timeline, I'm like... Oh, oh, it makes sense why there's Nokia's and Motorola's. Yeah. It's 2005, yeah. so it makes sense. But um, yeah, but yeah, overall great watch. Yeah, th- that's our thoughts on Saw X. Thank you guys for tuning in to Well, what do you think? It's been me, Amir. It's me, Omid. Have a great one, guys. See you guys. See you next time.